one in two people are getting divorced. Or, well, couples, right? Es increíble que, que, que la estadística nos dice a nosotros que casi, casi mitad se están divorciando después de casarse. And this is crazy. Nadie quiere ser parte de esas estadísticas, right? No one wants to be a part of that. But why is that? Why is that? This sacrament of marriage is extremely up there. It's important, right? It's something not to be taken lightly. No es algo que nosotros podamos tomar como, como es poca cosa. Si no es un compromiso que nosotros estamos dando totalmente a la otra persona. We're giving ourselves totally to the other person, right? And JP2 tells us that if we're giving ourselves totally to another person, there has to be four components in the love that we're sharing, right? It has to be free, total, faithful, and fruitful, okay? Parte de, de este amor que estamos convirtiendo con la otra persona tiene que ser libre, total, fiel, y fecundo, okay? So these things have to be a part of it. There's no other way to go about it. There's no other way to go about it. JP2 in um, the theology of the body in which we use, okay, in the theology of the body in which we use, he talks about a self a self donation of oneself, okay, donándose uno completamente a la otra persona, okay. I can tell you firsthand, and Cree can tell you even more, right? Because she's a woman and you girls talk more, so she can tell you more, right? So, <laughs> I can tell you, with that, right? I have to be careful, I say. I can tell you that this journey together has not been easy, right? It's like, sometimes we like last, we will be together with, throughout the day or whatever, and and some of you couples may know what I'm talking about, or maybe even married couples may know what I'm talking about. And at the end of the day, sometimes I feel like I got beaten up, right? I got decked out, like punched out, like uppercut, you know? Because what happens is, Cree brings to light my flaws, you know, not because she wants to be like, oh, hey, you this, you that, you this, you that, and it's not like that at all, right? But just to see our relationships and see, at times, to see sometimes how she's able to bring so much more. And I'm like, I'm there and I'm like, crap. Like, I didn't bring enough, you know? Or I'm not giving this, or I'm not giving that, or I've messed up this way, right? And it's a journey to learn how to grow oneself, right? It's a journey how to learn how to grow in oneself. So, if we want to be able to self-donate, to be able to be a donation, a, a gift, right? JP2 is big on using that word, being a gift to the other person, okay? If we really truly want to be a gift to the other person, then we want to make sure we look good, right? Not only on the outside, right? Not making sure that we have the prettiest ribbons in the world, you know, the best wrapping paper that I got from Chanel, or I got from Morella, you know, or I like threw Mac Cologne on my gift and it looks good. No, it doesn't work like that, right? It doesn't work like that. The inside has to be purified. The inside has to look even better than the outside. So I'll tell you this much, my outside don't always look that good, right? Korea will tell you she doesn't like when I don't shave. But I don't like to shave. <laughs> but sometimes I shave because I say she likes this, so I do it, you know. <laughs> and life goes on. And just to go back to the divorce issue, right? There was a, this is not something that's new, right? This is not like, um, where's Jalissa? Jalissa, you said this, right? Yeah. That, um, this, right? Okay, good. I'm like, I, I can't see from far. You have to come closer, just like, even yell it out, it's all good. So, okay, thank you. So, the divorce thing, right? This is nothing new. Hasta cuando Jesús estaba aquí, en el mundo, y los fariseos vinieron donde él, and they tried to like trick him, trataron de, de, de encontrarle una, you know, 
hacer un truco, you know, and le preguntaron a él, you know, why is it that Moses, por qué fue que Moisés dejó que la gente se divorciara, right? Jesus was like, that wasn't so in the beginning, right? En el principio no fue así, right? We're not meant to be divorced from anyone. That's why no one in their hearts of hearts wants to be divorced. Es por eso que nadie quiere ser divorciado ni a ningún momento de su vida, right? It's not meant to be that way. GPT talks to us about the primordial sacrament. Marriage as the primordial sacrament. Someone can help me out with saying primordial. In Spanish. Primordial. I was like, primordial. I can say that in All right, so, good job guys, you guys are great, right? So, el matrimonio, it's a sacramento primordial, right? Primordial sacrament. From the beginning, right? Adam sees Eve and he's like, this is it. Like, she's the one, right? After looking at all the animals and seeing like, wait, that's not gonna work. Mm -mm. You know? And sees her and says, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, right? This is she, woman, right? We're called to love one another whole and entire. And I know St. Paul gets a lot of rep, gets a lot of, you know, badgering on, especially in Ephesians. San, San Pablo, muchas veces en el capítulo de, de, de los Efesios, no, no le parece bien a, la, a muchas de las personas que viven en el mundo de nosotros hoy en día. Because he talks about a woman being submissive, basically being under the submission of her husband, right? But what are we, like, if it's easy to just read it and be like, uh-uh, why are you say that for? I ain't gonna mean it, uh, you know, I'm not. Wait, time to hold up, girl, you know? It's gonna be okay, <laughs> you know? It's gonna be all right. Hay muchas veces, si leemos la palabra sin, sin pedirle al Espíritu Santo que nos ayude, right? En leer estas palabras como debemos, ¿ok? Muchas veces uno puede confundirse, decirse que yo tengo que decir que es un muchacho, no, 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 hazme favor. You know, like, wait, time out, right? But the woman, it says to be under, right, so the submission of the husband. But if we keep on reading, it says the man should be able to love his wife as Christ loved the church. Right? As Christ loved the church. How did Christ love the church? He died for her, right? He gave everything to the last drop. So this, men, we have a great responsibility. You men that are in this room at this moment, tenemos una responsabilidad pero muy, pero muy grande. We have a responsibility that's huge, right? These women are given to us so that we can die for them. Amen. Wait, hold up, Emmanuel. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, right, right. You know? Yes. We're called to die for our beloved, our future spouse. To give ourselves totally to them, freely to them. Right? Remember, we said free, total, fruitful. faithful, and what? Fruitful. And fruitful. And that? That love has to be free. Ain't no like, yo, you better be with me, girl. <laughs> that ain't free. <laughs> That's not free, right? It has to be a free choice that she makes and that you make to be with her, Amen. right? To say, yes, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Right? Those vows that the man and the woman make Yesterday, at David and David, I'm sorry I keep on making the back, but I was like, thank God I'm saying the marriage before I give this talk, you know? It's like, yeah, <laughs> the Lord hooked me up, right? Like, thank you, love, you know? I got there late, but go, it's okay, she got there late too, so it's okay, <laughs> it worked. The Lord really wanted me to be at that wedding, so it worked, right? And so, I was like, great. I get to see it firsthand, to see two people that truly want to give themselves totally Right? That's the next one. Totally. Not saying I'm, 
All right, I'll give you everything, but this little bit, mm, you know what, let me hold on to that. It's not like that, right? This little bit about what I do at work, uh, I don't have to tell you anything about that because I'm the one making the money, no, 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 it doesn't work like that. It's you give yourself totally. Es totalmente que uno se tiene que dar a la otra persona. Right, and as you hear this, I know if when I was your age, probably in high school, hearing this, I'm like, do you gotta be crazy, right? <laughs> to be giving, giving myself so much, right? Muchas veces es difícil de ser tan, how you say, vulnerable. Vulnerable. How do you say So, to be so vulnerable to the other person is crazy. A lot of times we can't even be vulnerable with ourselves with the Lord. And now I'm over here telling you that you have to be as vulnerable to another person. But are we seeking marriage for the right thing? If that's the case, marriage says, yes, I'm willing to give myself freely, totally, faithfully, right? Faithfully. That word. We have to first be faithful to our Lord. First and foremost. Because if we truly want to be able to love, guess what? God is love, right? Where do, we, where do we read that? Gospel of John, right? God is love. Dios es amor. How can I love Cree or how can I love anyone without not, with not getting it straight from the source first? So we need to know and, and love and be in love first with our Creator so that we can be able to love anyone else. <clears throat> it's crazy that many times we see how these relationships end up in like ridiculous drama, these celebrities getting married, you know, not to put anyone on blast, but we see this and we see the fracaso, we see the destruction that these marriages hold. But what are they based on? And I go back to the wise man who was divorced two times who says, if it's not centered on Christ before, as a just a regular couple, you know, before marriage, then in a sense, we're setting ourselves up. If love is not the center, then it's chances are that we are setting ourselves up. I'm not saying that the, that the Lord can't like throw down His grace and send forth His Holy Spirit and help that couple out. But it will be a challenge. It will be harder for them, for sure. But this is a true sacrifice we have to be able to give ourselves as a gift. Right? We don't give gifts. Right? I would never give a gift to Felix and be like, here's this gift, right? And like, two months later, I'd be like, oh dude, yo, I need that gift back. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. That doesn't make any sense. Why give a gift to someone if you're wanting it back later on? That gift should be for forever, as we see the birds. <laughs> right? That gift should be for forever. Okay? We're not called to give just a bit of ourselves, but all of ourselves. Completely. And then that moment of fruitfulness, right? That moment of what it means to give ourselves fruitfully is to say, I'm giving myself so much to you and sharing in this love that in nine months, we're gonna give that love a name. That child is fruit of what it means of a real love. That's what that fruit is. And now I wanna share something really special to me. And it's only got 10 minutes, but actually need 12, so we need to start now, right? So this is the way, this is not to give me any, any credit, or, yeah, why not? But <laughs> to give me any, any glory whatsoever, but this is just my way in which I've been showing Cree um, how I love her, and this is the way I proposed to her, so this is very special to me, so pay attention. Fast readers, get ready, because there's a lot of fast reading, so if you're not a fast reader, just move up a little bit 
So you can read it faster. It's in English. Perdona. Esta es la manera en cual yo le pedí la mano a Creed. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Siva in exchange for you. Because you are precious in my eyes and honored, and I love you, I give men in return for you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Fear not, for I am with you. This is from Isaiah. As you can tell, I'm not a pastor either. You were one day shy of being six months old when something, or should I say someone, made a grand entrance into your world. Say, what? So this is like, this is like a conversation. Listen, this is a conversation with me and the Lord, okay? Who is this you speak of? Relax, Emmanuel. I'll tell you who she is. Grab something to eat in the meantime. The story's gonna take a while. <laughs> what did I order? A burrito. That's right. <laughs> tell me more about this girl. <laughs> what the heck? Who the heck was that? <laughs> Just keep eating. I'll explain. Oh, and cream. Not yet. I really messed this one up, didn't I? Creed, you have nothing to worry about. He's worse. Wait a second, who's worse? Don't worry about that, Emmanuel. Like I was saying, Emmanuel, you don't know this yet, but this girl from Wichita, Kansas is your beloved. Creed, look up. Am I on fault? <laughs> I'm serious, this is not a joke. Okay, if this is not a joke, when will I need her? September 27, 2011, you're going to order a ginger ale and she'll order a Diet Coke. <laughs> this is clearly a joke. Me in a bar? Are you going to continue interrupting me? Or are you going to let me finish? I'm sorry. Continue. I'll finish eating while you enlighten me. You two will see one another at several events and talk, talk, and... That was out of theology on tax we went to. And you'll let her draw on you. It says help. It's a Catholic underground we were both at. Another theology on tax we went to. And we both don't even drink. These encounters, unfortunately, are short-lived. And although you only know Creed for such a short period of time, you'll miss her. A month and a few weeks pass by without seeing this beautiful face. There better be more. That didn't sit well with me. Because you make all things work together for my good. The next time you will see Cree, you will be on, it will be on your birthday, and she's planning it. So this is where she took us, took myself and a group of us out to eat. FYI, you two are killer teammates at Fishbowl. It's a game. Four days later is Black Friday, 2011. And you will take her to a vegan restaurant, and, and before you ask, it's a restaurant that doesn't use any animal products in their food. Not even cheese. <laughs> she is now a vegetarian, praise God! <laughs> and she eats fish. So this is the vegan restaurant we went to. Kree is very impressed with how much you remember about her and your conversations. You both enjoy each other's company, but during this day, you, will too, you two will confuse each other and acting as if no one's interested. But don't worry, you two speak at the end of the night and resolve the confusion. And I know, it's really quick. Crazy fast reader. So this is other things, other dates. 
Hello, uh, that's us on the floor train. December 5th by the Brooklyn Bridge, you two make it official. It's dark outside, no flash on my phone. The rest is history. Ha ha ha. Now fuck it, finish the story. <laughs> oh, now you win you still, right? You two are clearly in love. But what kind of love? I'm not sure if you're ready for this next part. Your love with one another will not always look like this. Let there be oil on my lamp, let the fire not go out. To love, but when you two are learning from love himself, you both will come to know one another's brokenness. You both will pray and fast for one another. You both are on a journey to die to oneself. This journey is not going to be easy, but worth it all. Plus, you have several people playing for you. So, we have a litany of saints that are always in our prayers. Our Lady Guadalupe, Saint Joseph, Maximilian Colby. This is Saint Teresa of Avila. This is Saint John of the Cross. JP2. My love, Mother Teresa. St. Therese. So every night we pray, this is St. Augustine, and we always pray through the intercession of all these saints. St. Saint Monica. There's some that we always also mention that didn't miss the video. This is Blessed Pierre Georgia Fasadi. This is Blessed Jose Sanchez de This is Saint David Galvan, another Mexican Cristero. This is Saint Maria Goretti. We also pray to Saint Philomena. Saint George. Saint Michael should be next. We also pray to Saint Francis. Uh, this is our guardian angel. St. Gianna Mola. And the list of saints and angels goes on. This is the choir of angels and saints of the throne of our Lord. But they're not the only ones praying for you two. You both have countless numbers of friends and family members that love you dearly. Although there's no picture to show you, trust me, you two have friends. for the story. But regardless of the amount of friends and family you have, he's everything. I forgot to guess. <laughs> and he gives himself totally to you too. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another even as I have loved you. No matter how it may feel, how it may feel like, that's great with one of our teens, that's great with one of our mom, that's great. Upset that I put a red marker on her head. That's us with like ridiculous tans. <laughs> I don't know, no matter how we look like. That's my sister and two nieces. 
Try not a ridiculous stress. So no matter how we feel like, how we look like, love is not determined on how we feel or look. It's determined on how we give of ourselves to the other. Emmanuel, will you be ready to love Cree in this way? I hope you are because by April 7th, Cree will have already tried on some rings and looked at some dresses. <laughs> that you see are rings that my goddaughter has been giving her throughout our relationship. That's my suit. <laughs> Sally's reaction to rings and dresses. So this is her mom reacting to that little slideshow. <laughs> really creepy. <laughs> This is it, Emmanuel. What are you going to do? At this time, Korea is like hyperventilating. One thing's for sure, I got to make a phone call. They live in Kansas, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get out there. And we wait for the answer. He said yes. So he gave us approval for me to ask. So I just heard Creed like in my head say yes. And so now for the ultimate question, Creed and Coquette, will you marry me? <laughs> so, it's still October 13 is coming, right? Woo, woo, yes. In Kansas. <laughs> in Kansas, right? And so, but just this is me hoping and praying that I'm able to love as Christ loved the church, to be able to love her in that same way. So just words of encouragement for the young ladies in this room. If that man, if that young man that you may be thinking about, if he's not pursuing you with a heart that says, I'm willing to die for you as Christ loved the church, then guess what? Don't settle to be a missionary with your couple, with your partner, with him. Don't settle to want to make him a good Christian, right? If he wants to pursue you correctly, he will show that he's willing to give himself totally to you from the get. So be patient, right? It's not a, it's not a coincidence that our Lord always tells us to be patient, right? Because he knows. He knows better than we do, right? He knows better than we do. Let us trust in our Lord. Right? And for the young men here too, our Lord is calling us to something great through this beautiful marriage, through this beautiful sacrament. Let us be responsible in seeing that yes, these women are beautiful and should be cherished. And we should be able to give ourselves totally as a gift. Right? So what are the four things through love that we must share with one another? First one. Free. Free. Total. 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 Faithful. Fruitful. In Spanish? Total. Libre. Libre. Total. 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 Amen. So we'll just close with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, take over our lives. We ask that anything that we said here this evening, this afternoon, whether it be here at Mass, any way that you you would have spoken to us this day, we ask that you may enlighten us, Lord, not only this day, but all the days of our lives, that we may yearn to fall more in love with you above all things, Lord, to learn from you, Lord, on the cross, to love sacrificially, not only to our future spouse, but to every living person on this earth. We pray for all our future spouses as well if we're called to the, to the vocation of marriage. And we ask all this in intercession of our Blessed Mother and St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse, as we, pray, as we pray in thanksgiving to our Lord God. In all thanksgiving we pray, all oh, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world that I am. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.